Okay guys, a little tough to show you, but I need to do a little more work on the uh, epoxy. Actually what we need to do is we need to get together with Rob and uh, bolt these onto uh, his block and uh, really get the alignment right. But I heard through the grapevine that someone said I should try to use a pito all the way down the, the runner. And it's not like it's, it's not something I haven't thought of. But it is really good to check your airspeed down the runner. Okay, if the taper is correct, what should happen to the airspeed all the way down the runner? Well, we're going to do that now. It's, uh, it's 85 plus in the garage, so I can only run it for a short period of time. And I think you're going to see, in order for me to do it, you're going to see uh, the CFM in the feet per second. And let's see if I can just do a demo on what you what I'm going to be doing cuz can't I don't have two screens at one time Okay, I'm going to start with the pito and run all the way down till we get into the runner. Okay, I think we're going to do the bottom of it. And uh, we'll see what we got. set up around uh, 600 lift I think we got it set up for. You know what was funny? I had my light like this over the plenum and it flowed more air. We're going to do that again just to show you that aerodynamics is, is a little nutty. Okay? <laughs> it cracks me up sometimes. Just to make your hair fall out a little bit more. Now, does that really surprise me? No, not a, not a whole lot. Because I've seen crazy stuff like that happen before. Let's turn the light on. Okay, this needs uh, quite a bit more work. Like I said, i got to do more epoxy work on it. We've got to get the alignment just right. But as you can see, within a, a streetable lift... We're getting 282, 283 through the runner. And you know what? I have a flow sheet I can show you guys. Okay, this is actually what we just we just flew. Um, flew flown. Oh my god. I'm totally sorry guys, I'm completely fried. Haven't eaten in too many hours. I need blood sugar badly. But uh, we're set up at uh, 600 lift. Notice it's 282 now, 283. It was 285 when it was only 84 degrees. It's 86 now. 
So, what can we say about this? I'd like to do better than that, I'll be honest. Take a look at the swirl curve. I don't remember this head having nearly as much swirl as when the tunnel ram is on it. I think Eric said that. He's like, hey, I remember the, the tunnel ram kicking up the swirl. Eric's one of my uh, many followers. All right, guys. Uh, let me think what else I got to talk to you about. I should mention, I did not put clay on the, the plenum. Just, I needed to get this, I need to get a little bit of testing done and get out of the garage because I'm cooking. Other than that, I got uh, DV's 318 open chamber head into the IOP program. I got uh, his 1,000 horsepower heads into the IOP program. I sent him a bunch of info on it, uh, waiting, uh, waiting on him to call me back and discuss it a little bit. And uh, it was funny. Uh, the whole time I'm doing the 1,000 horsepower heads, I have a number in my head that I think they'll make. And I'll clue you in. I don't, I don't think it's going to do 1,000. But it might. I don't, you know, it's one of those things. It will be a very high RPM 454 for the street, though, I'll tell you that much. The, the piston speed is ridiculous. Um, but that's all right. You know, it's neither here or there. But the, what's really funny is the number I had in my head came out almost identical to what the IOP said it was going to be. So, I'm getting I'm getting better at that. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out a little bit. A little W2 action with the tunnel ram. How bad can it be, right? Uh, you know what? We need to discuss those air speeds. If the taper is right, what should happen to the air speed all the way down to the port? It should gradually increase, which is exactly what we saw. By the time it was 300, it was into the into the, the head, okay? And it doesn't quite match, so we'll, we'll be able to improve that a little bit more. I did go uh, through there with uh, some flow balls, and uh, didn't it really didn't make much of a difference. So there's no spot on the tunnel ram that the velocity is so high, when you put a, a flow ball near it, it really drops. So I would say that's actually a good sign. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.